Okay. Who, who wants oatmeal? Who wants oatmeal? Who wants oatmeal? That's it. That's oatmeal. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, good girl. Good girl. You guys like oatmeal. Oatmeal and oatmeal and eggs. Oatmeal and eggs. Good boy. Yes. Who doesn't like this stuff? From athletes to office drones, many of us start our day with a big bowl of oatmeal. But hey, did you know it's good for dogs too? Well, today I'm going to show you how to make oatmeal, not just for you, but for your dogs. And we're going to use steel cut oatmeal. Now, uh, steel cut differs from regular uh, rolled oats in that it's a little bit hardier, it has a little more fiber, and it just, I think, is a little easier to give the dogs. It mixes in well with kibble, it mixes in with other food pretty well. Now, if there is one caveat about steel cut oats, it is that they take a longer to cook, whereas rolled oats can take just a few minutes, and of course, instant oats take even uh, less time than that. Steel cut oats take about half an hour to cook, and the reason is because they haven't been cooked yet. You see, rolled oats and instant oats, those have actually been um, steamed and then rolled, literally rolled in, in these giant presses. That's why it cooks quicker. With steel cut oats, you're cooking those for the first time, and because they are denser, it takes longer time for that liquid to absorb. But just bear with me because I guarantee it's going to be worth it. And in about half an hour, you're going to get a great meal that's an awesome breakfast for you and a really good one for your dogs as well. So let's make some steel cut oats. Now, as far as ingredients go, we really don't need much. All you really need is oats and water. Now, you can also use different types of liquid. You could use milk. Uh, I found this stuff at Trader Joe's yesterday. It's called uh, oat beverage, and I figured why not? It's going to add a little extra nutrition to the oats, and uh, because it's made out of oats, it's just going to kind of double up our oatiness, I guess. So uh, that's the liquid we're going to use. The only things I would really shy away from are, are maybe like nut-type milks because some dogs have allergies to nuts. So I would be careful with uh, that type of liquid, but uh, water, milk, or this oat stuff, bring it on. Here's what steel cut oats look like. You can see they are almost look like small nuts. They're hardier than the instant kind. So we're just going to pour in one cup. And for oats, it is a four to one ratio. That means we're gonna use about four cups of liquid to every cup of oats. So we'll just kind of divvy out one cup of oats here, and that means we will fill this guy with uh, four cups of liquid. Okay, so I've measured one cup of oats. Now we're gonna get the liquid together. So again, we're gonna use four cups of liquid, and I'm gonna just kind of go half and half here. I'm gonna do half water and half of this oat stuff. So we'll do about, uh, two cups of water and two cups of this oat stuff. I used some of this last night, so I'm almost out. So we'll just uh, top this off with a little bit of water. So there we go, we got four cups of liquid and now we are going to put this in our pot and bring the liquid up to a simmer. So we'll just pour this into our pot. We'll put this over about let's say medium heat, and we'll bring this up to a simmer. This is going to take, oh, maybe about seven or eight minutes to come up to a simmer. It's been about five minutes, and we are almost at the simmer. And I like using this pot because you can actually see through it. And you may be wondering, what, what's the deal with this pot that I'm using? This is actually, uh, it's called a Vision, and this is a vintage pot. Uh, it was uh, made by Corning back in the day. And uh, the beauty of these pots is that, well, you can literally see it. You can, you can kind of see what's happening because you can see through them. Uh, these are really easy to find at uh, thrift stores. I, I can pick them up for just a few dollars. 
And uh, there actually is still a factory in France that, that makes them new, so you can find them that way. But they're a little costly, so uh, if, if you kind of dig this, go to your thrift store and you can, there's a high likelihood that you're gonna find one, it'll just be a few dollars. And they clean up new and they're really awesome to use. And of course, uh, they're, they're flame proof, so you can use them on the stove. Okay, we reached the simmer, and now we're just going to uh, pour in our cup of oats. We will turn this uh, down to about low and give it a stir. I like to keep mine pretty plain. The only thing I'm gonna add to this is just a, a little dash of salt, and um, it'll be nice and plain, and that way you can always modify it later. So what we're gonna do is just uh, cook this for about half an hour. Be sure to stir every once in a while, and uh, you'll be good to go. So we're about 10 minutes in and uh, we're just kind of simmering away and I can already see this is uh, thickening up. There's really not a whole lot you need to do with this. It's super easy to make. You just kind of have to monitor it and, and stir it every once in a while. That's all you really need to do. Now you might be thinking, uh, are, there, uh, are there other ways to make uh, steel cut oats? And absolutely, you, you can make them in an instant pot, you can make them in a rice cooker. But if you don't have uh, those devices, or if you just kind of want to do it the old fashioned way, this is a great way to do it on the stove. Again, it only takes about half an hour and uh, you'll get a, a great meal that uh, you can enjoy. And, and like I say, your dogs can too. At about the 20 minute mark, it's gonna to start to look like this. It's kind of like a, a real thick uh, porridge. And honestly, if, if this is kind of the way you like it, you could pretty much be done here. I like to cook uh, mine a little bit more to get rid of some of that liquid. But uh, if you and your dogs like it a little more porridgey, then uh, you can stop right here or just use a little more liquid. And uh, if you don't, you can just keep using it more or use less liquid. So you can really tailor this to your taste and the way uh, you like the texture. We're about 25 minutes into the cooking process, and at this point you really want to make sure that you're stirring so that things don't get too, uh, shall we say, chunkified. So uh, it's thickened up really nicely here. You can, you can kind of see that, and again, at this point, just make sure that you are stirring, 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 because we are almost at the finish line here. Stir, stir, stir your oats gently on the stove. Okay, it's been about half an hour and we are done. This looks good to me. Uh, the most of the liquid has absorbed and keep in mind that it's gonna absorb a little bit more as it rests, uh, even on the stove and in the fridge. Uh, you could pretty much be done here. You can, uh, of course, wait till it cools to about lukewarm, serve it to your dogs. You don't wanna serve it to them piping hot and then just refrigerate the rest and then uh, when you're ready to serve it, just heat it in the microwave to lukewarm. But before we go, I've got one secret ingredient that I like to put in my oatmeal that my dogs go crazy for. And it is just a little touch of cinnamon and you're probably gonna like this too. Now this isn't cinnamon sugar, this is just straight cinnamon, cinnamon powder. So I'm just gonna add a little dash I like to stir it in and my dogs go crazy for this stuff. I think, I think they just really like the smell of it. It's super fragrant. So when they smell cinnamon, they go nuts for it. Uh, so the way I'm gonna serve this to my dogs is I like to put uh, a little so eggs on it, uh, a little extra protein. You could mix this in with their kibble. You could uh, serve it to them plain, however you wanna do it. Again, I like using the steel kits because because they are a little bit thicker. Uh, it's easier to mix in and, and for them to, to eat. So there you go, there's steel cut oats, that's how to make it. And look, even if you're not making it for your dogs, you now know how to make steel cut oats for yourself in about half an hour. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, as always, if you have any questions on this or th if there's anything you want to learn how to cook, please put it in the comments below. And if you haven't already liked and subscribed, please do. All right, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.